And welcome back. Okie dokie, so we are on this contract still. We need to return to Forstland. We have defeated the Barbarian King, of course. And I have done a little of inventory management, so I've changed a few armors again. Rupert is now wearing this brigandine shirt, as well as the bassinet with mail. Also sold a few things here and bought tools and food. But let us now return to Forstland. And I suppose kill these dire wolves on the way. Let's treat this as a leveling fight, which it is. Ernst is getting closer to level 11, so we can finally see about promised potential for him. Right, so who else is coming? Probably Bertolf. Let's leave out Valdemar, I suppose. Switch the banners. Oh, oops. Um, do that. And let's kill these silly wolves. The beasts in Battle Brothers are very smart. They can determine whether you're something they can perhaps defeat or not. Also, this is the first time we are using this new weapon, Sir Hilmar's Stinger. And we might pick up Fencer, which should help in using this weapon on level 11, but we'll see. So we have Sword Thrust for 4 AP. We also have a Lunge and a Repost. This is 67 currently. Oh, we have minus 20% chance to hit. Why the hell is that? Why is that? Does this fix it? Gain plus 10% chance to hit. Hmm. Okay, that's a bit weird. Well, okay, sure. Having backstabber would help. Well, okay, well, just have to deal with that, I suppose. So let's wait for surround bonus from Musa, or perhaps just kill this one, so we can launch. Did you notice that minus 20% chance when I bought that thing? Might be uh, regretting that decision a little bit now. Anyway, let's continue with the fight. Okay, you can just probably shield wall, but let's wait for that. All right, and Sir Henrik. Well, you can wait as well. Okay, so Baldwin, where are you stepping? Not sure. Anyway, Ernst now has 72. Well, we land one. Better than nothing. I suppose we will cut a step. Could try to walk to the high ground here. With 32 melee defense, we might be able to do that. And we do have underdog, so... Hmm. Might be worthwhile, perhaps. I don't know. Let's try it. All right. 31 and we succeed. And Musa, you can provide support over here. Okay, you are level 2. So taking this spot is a tiny, tiny bit risky, perhaps, but only a tiny bit, I would imagine, since you have good armor. Oh, we not have... Oh, never mind, it's the other attack. This guy is now using a pole axe. 
So the who is not a reach attack, but the strike and the impale are. Okay, so this is 64 and this is 75. Let's go for the... I could actually go for this one, since Gispert is probably going to be able to kill this one. Let's do that. Also, yeah, there's Helmfried. Uh, let's let's do it like that, I suppose. And step back. All right, keep on killing. Keep on missing. And this fight is basically over. Run them down. Get a level for Sir Cory. Okay, so he is now level 6. Plus 4 melee defense, plus 2 melee skill, and let's pick up plus 4 fatigue as well. And probably pick up Underdog. Yeah, let's do that. There we are. Continue. There we are. And we have three possible contracts here. What is this? Hunt down what kills people. So this is, I think, Scrats. Just going to decline. Not interested. We'd be able to do that, I think, but it would be very tedious. Three skull fallout tracks. Well, we could use the money, I suppose, since we spent a lot of it. Deliver cargo to Alpstadt. Well, we could do that. Definitely could do that. What we could also do is go down south and clear some nomad camps. We can do these big ones now, I would imagine. And if we can't, then I suppose we deserve to just die while doing it. Alright, I think I will take this three skull, that's a good leveling fight, and also gives us more stuff to sell. Speaking of selling, the price here is horrible. Well, it is what it is, I suppose. Alright, so, Northwest. Okay, and the Noble War is finally over. Whether they love or hate us, everyone knows the For Glory now. And let us continue with the campaign. I do like what Reforged has done with the Noble Faction. The fights are far more interesting now. Legends does something similar, of course. <clears throat> Beefed up the Nobles quite a bit. Anyway, what are we facing? Just wondering if I bring my archers to this, just to make this fight a little bit less tedious because of the forest terrain. Guess I will bring archer, and an archer at least, for Helmfried. Maybe even leave Gispert out of this, and Baldwin. Yeah, I think so. So we have all the archers in the lineup. You are still hurt, so you are not coming, obviously. Leave the veterans behind, and let's fight. They are not afraid of us, it seems. 
They should be, but they aren't. Alright, since this is just Briggies, let us increase the combat speed. At least for the initial round or two. And let's just wait for them, I suppose. Wait for the entire round. These two have forgotten their helmets at home. Not a wise decision. Okay, you don't have a shot on anything. Let's move. There we are. Just set up a welcoming committee with the melee people. Let's continue waiting, I suppose. I don't want to discourage them too much before I can kill at least nearly all of them. These two are sadly staying put. Robber and a robber. Hmm. Well, it's a chance to try out the lunch. 48. And we fail. Alright, sure. Alright. Have to go around because of the trees, of course. You silly brigands. Should have ran. Okay, let's see about this launch. 51. Nope. Okay, we still have three of them somewhere. Probably here. I would imagine that they are going to run away now. No idea where they are. Maybe they're here. Oh. Well, let's just kill this one and be done with this fight. Oh, I can't... Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting about that. Keep forgetting about these different attacks. Alright. That is enough. It is over. And we get two level ups out of that. That is good. We also get some loot. Which I suppose some of it we will want to repair. Right, and Sir Henrik. Level 3 now. Plus 4 and plus 3. Excellent. Let's also take the plus 5 fatigue. Very nice level up. And I think he probably does need more help with hitting things. And I have decided to make an axe user out of him. So probably take backstabber here. Alright, there you go. And next, Sivard has reached level 9. Also rolls plus 3 melee skill. And gets plus 4 hit points. Alright, and as for the perk, let's just get exploit opening, I think. I should really try out this dynamic duo perk at some point, though. Maybe next level. Alright, head to first land. There we go, and what was this? Was this the delivery? Mm, yeah, we need to sell our stuff anyway, so... Sure, I will take that. Probably get a better price over here. 
Let's stop by at Sonheim as we go. More brigands. Okay, sure. Let's level up some more. Okay, Hamdu number two, you can still sit out. Alright, and once again, I will just wait the entire round. These fights are so easy that they don't require much brain power. Okay, you have 10 AP. Brigand killer. Not sure I've seen a... Well, probably haven't seen a brigand killer before. Okay, well, has a lot of perks, but seems to be pretty easy to kill. The killer. Who is easy to kill. Alright, just advance, I suppose. Let's see if we can land our first launch. There we go. That hurts a little tiny bit. Alright, let's try to get the net. At least not yet. Not yet for the net. Melee defense of 22 for Sapti. So let's be a little tiny bit careful with him. Hmm. You need to make room for Sir Cory. As I move here with him. Okay, move there. That's going to be fine. And Sivard. Just get in there. 56. Go for this one. There we go. We get the net. Keep on taking aimed shots. Okay, six brigies left. Just step in there. Oh, didn't actually mean to go for that, but we did land the lucky hit there. go no levels more stuff and on to the next fight there is a hedge knight okay now a hedge knight does warrant some caution at least we do have musa's pocket sand we also have nets now we have nets so we could just dagger him down after netting him other than that, this is basically a leveling fight. But I suppose I should be a little bit, little bit cautious overall. So 
So bring in some heavy hitters, I suppose. We can stun with Baldwin. What else do we do? Yeah, I think we shouldn't like underestimate this fight. Let's bring in at least nearly the top lineup. And Ortwin perhaps as well. Alright. Okay, so someone needs to use nets, I suppose, and it's going to be Baldwin, as he has a free hand. And again, it could also be Ortwin with quick hands. Yeah, getting the getting the armor from the Hedge Knight, even if we maybe wouldn't use it at this point, it will sell for a lot, so it's definitely worthwhile. Night time. Is it Swamps? Okay, that sucks if it's the swamp. It isn't. Okay. The screen light. Alright, keep the combat speed up for now, but let's be... Let's be careful. A tiny bit careful. We do have a pretty good chance to hit even against the shield during the night time with Edward. So the question is, where is the Hedge Knight? What is he equipped with? Okay, so Helmfried has really nice armor has really nice reach, has 20 melee defense, so I think I will actually step in melee range here with him. Gispert, you can go for that. Oh, what the hell did I do? Valdemar is in the front line, and he's the better. <laughs> oh, my brain isn't working today. Well, it's going to be fine. It's going to be just fine. I guess I confused him with Helmfried. And forgot that Bertolf is now using the actual banner. Well, whatever. Start killing things, I suppose. Okay, there's the Hedge Knight. Has a two-handed hammer. His armor is okay. It's not the best that it could be. So ideally we will dagger him, but he is quite dangerous. So we shall see. Could use arrow to the knee, I suppose. It is only a 14 percenter, though. King Theodobald, huh? Well, that seems a little bit silly. Like, the king of what, exactly? Also, his armor, I don't really care about, so... We'll see. Might dagger him, might not. Okay, so you have vigorous assault, don't you? Or do you not? It seems he actually doesn't have it. And this is a 6 AP weapon. Come on. Come on. 6 AP, yes, so he can only move one tile and attack. Unless I missed something. Alright, well, Ortwin, you will use a net and Musa will handle the Hedge Knight otherwise. Guess we can actually get in melee range with him already, but then again, getting him closer is going to be better for us. If we want to dagger him, and I suppose, even if his armor isn't as good as I would like, it would still be beneficial. I'll just get in there, I suppose. Use the net at a later time. And now let's lower the combat speed.
need to remember that this is actually Voldemort the Banner and not Helmfried. 44, 45. Let's go for the 45. That works. And I suppose since Baldwin has a net out, he should be using it at some point. Just to get the double grip bonus going, if nothing else. So you only have one net, is that true? Yes, okay. We might need Baldwin for the Hedge Knight as well. Hmm. This flank is a little bit weak. Should have brought in Ernst. To have some more frontliners, I suppose. So I need Baldwin here. Kind of, but I also need him for the Hedge Knight. It's a little bit tricky. At least a little bit. And I've already, already spent Wolfgang's turn, so who the hell is going to protect this flank? Is it going to be Gisbert? I suppose Gisbert is going to have to handle it. Alright, go for the 64. Good. And keep on killing things, this guy probably. 58. Nope and nope. Alright, so just move here with Musa and get next to the Hedge Knight next round. And if somehow the Hedge Knight manages to get in melee range with someone like Bertolf or even Ortwin, then I might just abandon the daggering to Sir Henrik, who I shouldn't have brought to this battle, so I don't know why I did that. Let's use him over here. And Helmfried. Could you kill this guy? I think it's unlikely. Not going to do the math. Just go for the 82. That works. Alright, so, Gisbert. Well, we do have the initiative at least with Wolfgang and Lebrecht, so we can actually move out of the way here as well. Just Gisbert here. So, 80%. Just go for the decapitate. There we go. 79, go for that. Can any of you stun? No. That means I don't need to pull the waiting trick. With you. Okay, keep on killing. If I do this, then it's possible that the Hedge Knight actually moves here. That would be fine, so whatever. Well, couldn't kill. Mm, so you have a throwing weapon, which means you are not getting in melee just yet. The throwing net from the killer is probably going to be a little bit of an annoyance, but can't really help that. So take two shots perhaps and move here. Could have used arrow to the knee, but I don't think it's that necessary. Also, we do have the rotation on Wolfgang, so I think he's pretty safe, or would have been pretty safe, even without the initiative which enabled him to act before these, these fools. Alright, and you will continue to wait, because you are going to use the net. Okay, weird moves. Wait, and maybe go for this already. Nah, 43. Also, your Valdemar 
Not Helmfried. How rude of you, being able to attack so many times. Keep on waiting. Here we could go for the 76 though. Sixty-one. That would activate Berserk. Let's wait though. Alright, that is a good move for us. We can use Musa very easily against the Hedge Knight. The only thing is that Baldwin is over here with his net and his less effective at killing Brickies with the net in the offhand. We can use the net on King Theodobald though. Okay, so with you, Sapti. Suppose we'll go for this guy. Over a headshot, perhaps. Nah, that's lower chance to hit. Okay, that works. I move here, I will block the killer. And I suppose Sapti can handle himself for a little while. This guy does have Spear Mastery, so he's a little bit dangerous, though. Okay, how many action points do you have? Five. Well, let's just stay put for now. Maybe arrow to the knee on the killer. Lose the net. Start stabbing. Musa, I think you should be able to move there like so, with a 5% chance. Get pocket sand. Get the dagger out as well. And with Valdemar the banner. Hmm. Go for this guy perhaps. That's only a 27 though. Yeah, let's go for the 47, even though you don't have the Berserk. It's fine. Getting a dagger out with you is probably fine, though I do need to be careful if I go into hammer range with you. Just providing the... being able to provide the surrounding... surround bonuses at some point, even with a guy like the banner man, will be very helpful. I think there's still quite a few of these guys left, so let's not take the dagger out just yet. Okay, Baldwin, use the net, I suppose, since you have it. 69, 82, or I could free up Gispert. Hmm. I think I'll go for the damage. So go for the 82. Okay, and with Bertolf. We'd actually make use of um, command or, well, basically command since Encourage does nothing currently. Or can I actually use it on anyone? Not to any good effect, I suppose. So let's just go for damage. Lucky hit, I'll take it. Okay, and we can actually both attack and hopefully free up Gisbert here. 76. Okay, well, we fail at both of those tasks, sadly. So another question is, do I go for an arrow to the knee? It also staggers. Okay, I guess I do. There you are. Okay. So do, does this guy have Pathfinder? He does. Which means I don't think I can take this spot because he will be able to get to the high ground even with the arrow to the knee if I'm correct. 
kind of wanted to take an aimed shot at this vandal. I suppose it doesn't really matter all that much. We can just go for these 55s here. Get a kill as well. That works. Nicely done. This one is fleeing. Even so, killing him now is probably an okay idea. We'll see if we can break the resolve of the Hedge Knight. Definitely don't want to get in melee range with him if he has an action. Even with the pocket sand in play. So let's wait with Ortwin. Extremely rude. Extremely rude. Destroyed nearly all of Kispert's armor there. He's actually in danger. Yeah, he needs to be freed from the net. Still unsuccessful. Okay, and our chance to land a stabity stab here is 47. Okay, I suppose I'll go for it twice. Even without the surrounding bonuses, but yeah, I am worried for Gispert. King Theobald might just be able to kill him, actually. Armor has been destroyed. Yeah, that damn inspiring presence. Oh well. So we need help. So we need help. Let's actually get in melee range there. Okay, let's go for a stun, I suppose, on King Theodobult. There you go. And let's try to free up Gispert with you. Good. And I activate Berserk with this guy, most likely. Well, if you can hit, that is. He's going to kill himself as he flees, though. Let's wait. And we don't have a better target here, so let's just go for the Brigand Killer. Despite the arrow to the knee. Alright. Out of fatigue, basically. Rattled. Dented armor. Rude. Edge Knight is free from the net. He's not wavering. Pocket sand wears off, of course. We might need another net on him if we want to dagger him. Let's deal with the sharpshooter here. Hmm. Just get in there. Kill this guy the old fashioned way. I will, I suppose, keep trying to dagger the Hedge Knight. Musa will most likely be able to handle himself for a while. Still have pocket sand as well. Right, need to deal with the Raider before he hurts Gisbert even more. Okay, there we go. Hmm. Just do that. What is this? Adjust allies dented armor. Oh. 
Um, do I want to do that? Maybe I don't care. Maybe I don't care. Get your daggers out. Hmm. Probably want to get someone else along with Baldwin next to this guy so he doesn't somehow manage to get away. 63. Oh, that was Musa. Yeah, okay. 27. Hmm. That's a bit high as well. Against 75. Okay, sure. Uh, we can actually do this. Okay, just the Hedge Knight left. He is not even wavering. Doesn't care at all about his comrades. Okay. I'll actually get that club out just in case. Okay, and I will risk Ortwin here. Though, so should I recover first? Maybe I should. Get your daggers out. Do it next round, I suppose. Oh yeah, he does have underdog. Okay, so we... Kind of definitely do need that net from Baldwin. That's fine. Keep on throwing sand. That was the last instance of it, I think. Or the second to last, at least. Alright. Don't step in. Get your dagger out, but wait. Alright, get the net out, but don't throw it yet. Let's let him have his action first. Okay, there you go. Now, Leberak is nimble. I think he should probably be able to handle this for a little while at least. Does have fast adaptation as well, so we can may perhaps land a stun. 32. Not yet. Okay, we are actually getting through to him. Through to his resolve, that is. Just by surrounding him. Even so, I think I will use the net here, unless he flees, like, immediately. Oh, there you go. No need for the net. Okay, dagger him down. There we are. Alright, and Sir Henrik gets a level out of that. We get a 285 armor. Didn't get the helmet, but whatever. We also get the two-handed hammer. Inventory is full once again. Alright. So Sir Henrik is now level 4. Pretty decent level up, plus 4 melee defense, plus 2 melee skill, plus 5 fatigue. And let's give you brawny. There you go. Actually, let's see if you can wear that new armor straight away. So where is it? It's here. Yeah, no penalties to fatigue. Maybe you can even use a heavier helmet. helmet. Yeah, you can, okay. Good, good, good. 
There we are. Let's put Ernst in the lineup. Also, yeah, let's get Valdemar the banner out of the front line and give him the actual banner. There we are. Bring in Rupert again. As well as Sir Cory, perhaps. Yeah, Kispert gets to sit out for a while. All right. There we go. Let's keep on moving. So there's a brigand lair around here somewhere. Oh, what? Uh, so this is mercenaries out here for the cargo. I think we are strong enough to fight off mercenaries. If you want it, come take it. Swordmaster. Okay, well, that's the first one. There's also a hedge knight. Okay, well, this is an actual fight. It's a good thing I messed with the lineup. This is an actual, actual fight. They are very scary, actually. Yeah, it's a really good thing I put Gisbert out of the lineup with his dented armor. Baldwin will need to use his nets again. But I don't think... Well, maybe we can dagger the Hedge Knight here, but it's going to be dangerous. Swordmaster definitely demands a net. The archers are probably capable of, well, doing something against him at least. Blade Dancer, okay. Lots of perks. 78 melee defense, 100 melee skill. I'm a little bit scared. And since it is the night time, then... Well, we obviously get the penalties. So does this mercenary with the war bow. Okay. An actual fight. If I had more nets out on Ortwin and on Baldwin, then this wouldn't be as threatening, but I don't. Hmm. Well, just get in there, I guess. That's a dangerous weapon, as is that one. So they are priority targets. Let's just try this with Sir Cory, I suppose. You're not going to get a better target during this round. Okay, so Baldwin does need to get the net out. However, I would also like to deal damage and stuns. Now, if I can land an arrow to the knee on the Swordmaster, that will be immensely helpful. I think Baldwin does need to step up here. Hmm. This guy might be... Well, this guy is easy to kill because he has only 20 head armor. So we only need one arrow to the knee on the Swordmaster. The rest of the arrows can go on these guys. The thing is, I don't know how lucky or... How lucky we need to be getting there. If he moves behind an obstacle or an ally, it will be far more difficult to land that arrow. Hmm. I think I'll move here with Baldwin, but let's not get the net out just yet. Okay. 5%. Hmm. Damn it. Does he have anticipation as well? No. So it's just the night time, I suppose. 
10% with an aim shot. Yeah, it's the night time. Well, that's bad. Equipped with a great sword. Okay, well, this mercenary is super dangerous with his weapon. I think we'll just go for damage on him. And we did get the headshot as well. Excellent. That is really good news. Right, and step back. You will wait. Helmfried with the inspiring presence. That is helpful indeed. We can kill this guy, hopefully. Well, not just yet. And not just yet. Damn it. Hmm. Guess you are taking the high ground. Can't do anything though. Not with this weapon. There's the Hedge Knight. He is very dangerous as well. Alright. Well, we are in trouble. We are in trouble. That helps though. We are also getting netted by this dude and this dude. Need to go for shots on the ones close to us. 49. Hmm. If I move, I can land perhaps on this guy. An arrow to the knee, that is. Does he have polar arm specialization? Yes. As well as backstabber. Mercenaries are deadly. Okay, let's see. That's only 11%. Well, damn it. Go for the 63, I suppose. Tickles. Mm. So it's quite likely that we will suffer casualties in this fight. Alright, well, there's the Swordmaster. We can land the arrow to the knee now, hopefully. So it's on Leberact. Maybe the Hedge Knight makes for a better target, I don't know. We'll need to use Musa against him. The Flail is extremely deadly though. So only the Pocket Sand is basically... Well, Pocket Sand and the base melee defense is keeping Musa alive against that thing. Hmm. Might have bitten off more than I can chew with this fight. We'll see. So this guy can actually... No, he can't launch. Not with a great sword. So arrow to the knee. Is that going to accomplish anything? He does have dodge. So that stagger will help a lot, actually. Yeah, go for him. And we did land. So a regular shot is now 55. The question is, do I go for an... Aim sh not an aim shot. Um, arrow to the knee on the hedge knight as well. Hmm. Kind of like to deal damage against the sword master. The hedge knight is going to get to us anyway. Arrow to the knee or no, and he doesn't have dodge. So I think we just go for damage on the sword master. Or perhaps arrow to the knee on the mercenary, actually. That is 39 only. Now, in that case, let's go for the quick shots. Land a couple of them. Alright, Ernst. 91. Okay, you actually have more initiative than this mercenary, at least for now. Let's see if you can get to him and kill him before he can throw his net. Doesn't look like it. Alright, there's one dude over there as well. So the great sword is 5 AP. Hmm. 
I think Ortwin goes for this guy. I do need someone here, though. Probably. Probably. Because Helmfried can't handle a Swordmaster. Then again, we can kill him, I think, if he steps here, which he will. With the archers. And we can use the net, perhaps. So I would prefer just being able to attack with Baldwin. So if we are lucky... If that's the right word to use, then we can kill the Swordmaster without the net. And we can use Baldwin's action points for something more useful, hopefully. But yes, the question is what to do with Ortwin. I think this is the spot to take. It is risky, but then again, what isn't? Okay, there's a mercenary with a great sword there. This guy has a great sword as well. Can you act before they do? Looks like it. Okay, that helps. And Rupert. Go for the overhead strike. 92. Good one. And he actually has more initiative than the Swordmaster as well. So I could use Kata Step here. The thing is, that will block my archers. So I suppose we won't. That sucks. Do I actually use a rally just for that? Don't think so. That seems a little bit silly. Is command going to help at all? Um, don't think so. Yeah, it's not. If I move here, Valdemar is a little bit in danger, but since the Swordmaster is staggered, I think it's fine. And we do have the backup, backup banner anyway, and he had he does have nine lives. So let's do it. Let's go for the 73 here, since I can kill this guy pretty easily with others. And Sorkori might as well use Adrenaline. And Baldwin, let's not get the net out. Let's just go for um, perhaps a stun, actually. 86. Good. And let's not step next to the Hedge Knight just yet, I don't think. Let's let him come, since he doesn't have Vigorous Assault. Let's just double check that, actually. So he shouldn't be able to move two tiles and attack, is the thing. Well, hopefully that is the case, so let's just kill the dog. Sir Henrik, you can stay put, I suppose. Yeah. Okay, and Sir Cory, go for a hit and run. Let's leave that guy for Rupert, I think. So go for the 52, maybe. Nah, this guy is way more dangerous with the great sword. Good. Probably don't want to stay here. So the Hedge Knight is going to come in and we need to nuke him down very fast. Does it even matter if I'm here or here? If I'm here, I can use Adrenaline. Hmm. Okay, you are level 6 with Underdog and 24 melee defense. Meaning that you can maybe even dodge this guy. So if I move back, I free up the slot for Sir Henrik though. Or the spot, rather. Let's move back. And Ernst, even though it's a little bit... Well, actually I could move here instead of going for the dog. Going for the dog is 64. Also move here, perhaps. Both options are okay. And axe and arming sword. And this guy doesn't have underdog, okay. Well, hmm. Just getting the dog would... Well, actually, no. Everyone's confident except for Musa. 
So maybe I actually go for this move. Maybe even this and go for a launch. Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's see if we can land the... Oh yeah, that's the Swordmaster. Never mind, we need to go for this guy in that case. And we fail. Okay. Well, hopefully Ernst doesn't die here on level 10 before he can reach his promised potential. It's not looking great for him, but maybe. Okay, so I did say I want to leave that guy for Rupert. Do I want to step here? This mercenary is not going to move here just yet, I don't think, since he has his javelins out. So I could move there and take an... Hmm. Then again, the Swordmaster has a great sword, which has a split. So let's not. Maybe I do go for this skill. Yeah, that's a good line of sight on the one behind him af after that. Okay, come on. Un homage. Alright, now what to do with Leberacht? What to do with you? So I did say I don't need an arrow to the knee there, so I guess not. Let's go for the Swordmaster. Okay. So he doesn't have Resilient, which means the Stagger will persist still. Good news for us. Speaking of Stagger... Oh, did you not get staggered? Arrow to the knee? Well, I don't see it at least, okay. Seemingly... We have minus 50 here, but 104. Okay, well... Apparently not. Anyway, for Rupert... So we have tempo, which means we should move in and attack something. Hopefully land hits as well. Guess it's this spot. So the Swordmaster has two targets next to him. Hmm. Okay, 69. And you have Underdog. So let's actually move here. Do they have Backstabber, all of them? Not all of them. Swordmaster doesn't have it, as far as I can see. Okay, let's cut a step. And go for the... Actually, Tempo is still active, so the next one hit will recover two. Which means we should go for a Slash. No, that leaves us with three. So let's just go for the overhead strike. Hmm. Probably on this guy. Maybe this one. Fail. Okay. All right, Ortwin. Let's see what you can accomplish. Okay, this guy acts next, so I suppose we kind of need to waste damage to avoid taking damage. And go for the 72 there. And we fail, and we also get hit. Well, that means that Ortwin might be dead. Might very well be dead here. Well, it is what it is. That's good. That's bad. That is fine. Let's keep waiting for the Hedge Knight. Now, can I do anything with Command? I can get another attack on Helmfried after he has spent one, if he doesn't move. That is about it, I think. So you will wait. 
Sir Henrik probably steps in. Goes for something. Oh yeah, this Swordmaster, by the way. Yeah, he does have the special abilities. Oh, come on. We shall see what he does with them, but... Late Dancer. Initiative. Cut a step used. Okay, he, so he can cut a step somewhere. We shall see. <laughs> we shall see how horrible how horribly this goes. Okay, go for the 74. Oh, damn, misclick. Oh, well. Oh, well. Wrong target. We need to break Baldwin free, but does he do it himself? So this is minus melee defense. He can still do damage and stun. I think we just go for damage here. Okay, well, we got one. We also got the stun. 54 on the Swordmaster. We do need to deal with him. However, killing this guy would also be very nice. So, since he can cut a step anyway, and you have fully intact armor and some melee defense, well, you're going to get hit regardless if he goes for it. We might just move here with Helmfried. Go for this guy, activate Berserk. Maybe rally Ortwin in the process and lower their resolve. And if I get Helmfried killed here, then it was meant to be. Alright, I did accomplish what I wanted. Now we have a second attack. This guy is stunned, but even so, killing him now would be good for the resolve. Hmm. I think I will. There we are. And with Edward, do we have a good shot? Not really. I think I'll wait with you. H Knight is going for a flank. And we are hit actually twice here. Um, why did he attack twice with a 5 AP weapon? Hmm. So I don't see combo here. He has 9 action points. Well, not sure. One perk, maybe this Blade Dancer perk, allowed him to do that. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Stop the Hedge Knight. Alright, and Valdemar. Now we just attack, or perhaps free Baldwin, actually. Let's try it. Nope. Step out of there because of the split. And dealing with these two would be nice with Edward. Dealing with just the Swordmaster would also be nice. Well, dealing with every one of these enemies would be nice. But let's go for that. Not be able to do much. Alright, so we don't want to move with Wolfgang. Don't have a good shot unless this counts. I guess that's okay. All right, Ernst. Let's see if we can free up that guy. Yes, we can, but it took a while. How about a launch of 76? All right, you've taken damage, so let's step out of the Swordmaster's range. There you are. And Rupert, what can you do? 89. Over that. Okay, that was my alarm alarm going off. Let's ignore it for now. Good. We might still need the net on the Swordmaster. 38, 47. Or I could step here, perhaps. That means that Helmfried is getting attacked twice by the Swordmaster, perhaps. Hmm. 
I think stepping there might be the best all though. Let's do it. 95. I can still cut a step if I like. Don't think I'd like to. Well, actually, hmm. That will mean that this mercenary cannot get in melee with anyone. Let's do it. Anyone else other than Rupert, that is. Okay, you're still holding. Getting overwhelmed, though. Alright, getting this skill would help with the resolve. Getting this skill would be good otherwise. Well, good for the resolve as well. 44 only. Let's go for it. Nope. Uh, this guy has the repost. Or does he actually? Yes, okay. 64, nothing else we can really do. That helps a lot. Get the stun as well. Let's move over here. Go for this guy at some point. Ernst might be dying. Ortwin might be dying. A lot of deaths are happening. Not yet, but very soon. So once again, I can command Helmfried, but that will be after his attack. Let's wait. Okay, getting hit, but it's not too bad. Not too bad. Let's try to deal with this guy. You don't really have a good target unless I go for this one. 29 on the Swordmaster. This might be the time we use the net, actually. Let's wait with you. And what the hell? Do I just attack here? Hmm. So, if I remember correctly, the shield wall ability grants a little bit of defense, even against flails. You can also the bonus to melee defense granted by shields, but not against shield wall, if I remember correctly. Okay, well, let's go for the shield wall. Alright. And we get two attacks here. Let's wait for the net. You will also wait. Alright. A 45 there. But he did miss. Okay. And you are netted now. We only have 42. Actually, I'm, I will step in here. I think it's relatively safe against this weapon with full armor. Do you have underdog? You should probably have it. You don't. So yeah, stepping in there is good. Right. Let's see if we can kill this guy. Nice. And go for the higher chance to hit. 61. Bail. More pocket sand. And Helmfried go for two attacks on the Swordmaster 95 now. There we are. And Edward step in. 80. Excellent. This is why nets are so good. There you are. Okay, now let's step next to this guy, since he is equipped with war bow. No fatigue to do anything, though. Speaking of fatigue, let's... Yeah, I suppose we will just kill the Hedge Knight without the daggers. I think it's going to be a bit, little bit too difficult, and it's going to take a lot of time as well if I... Go for the daggering. We'll probably need another net if I do that. But it's looking like we probably will be able to 
get out of this fight without deaths, though it's by no means guaranteed. And speaking of deaths, do I just leave this position now with Ortwin or do I go for the damage? I guess I just leave because I can die to one hit on him or he can die to one hit. There you are. Okay. And Baldwin, wait for now. Sir Cory, wait for now. Probably go for this. Right, keep on doing the same thing. Hmm. Do that. That helps a lot as well. So the fight is won. Go for this. And we are not hit either. Alright. Tough fight, but we made it. Alright, that is the priority target now. As well as, well... The pole arm and the hedge knight. All right, and the last pocket sand goes in. Keep on taking aimed shots. Keep on missing them. Come on, Ernst. You can do better than that. All right, there we are. All armor is leaving. That's fine. A little bit annoying, but that's fine. Oh, I should have just waited for him to kill himself. Slight mistake. Oh, come on, Ernst. You and your silly new sword. Still can't land the hit, okay. Okay, Hedge Knight down. Who's moving? You are. Okay. All right. One more. Just one more. Come on, Ernst. Now, oh, damn it. Damn it, Ernst. Still can't do it. Come on. You silly sword. Okay, let's see if Ortwin can show you how it's done. Kind of. Please die. There we are. All right. Tough fight. Tough fight, but we prevail. No one died. There we are. We get some gear out of that. Oh, need to do the inventory management. Damn it. Okay, dump the shields. And dump... Hmm these things and that all right that's good enough and let's save the game okay so this was this was a tough fight but yes indeed we are victorious all right so that is enough for now thanks for watching and i will see you next time